In his recent remarks, the Turkish president stressed that his country would not face U.S. sanctions over the purchase of the Russian S-400 air defense system, stressing that the first shipments would arrive within 10 days. The London-based Financial Times reported on Tuesday that President Donald Trump had held talks with his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip Erdogan at the G20 summit in Osaka, Japan. In his editorial entitled, Turkey in America are heading for a major crisis. Erdogan should not undermine NATO's Russian air defense systems. The Turkish president emphasized, in his press statements that his country would not face U.S. sanctions over the purchase of the Russian S-400 air defense system. The first will arrive within 10 days. The deal is a slow collision between Turkey and the United States. But it could eventually cause a huge wreck, as the congressional position is unlikely to be consistent with Trump's stance on sanctions. Washington has repeatedly made it clear that Turkey cannot combine the US F-35 fighter with Russian air defense systems. The United States has warned that Erdogan, if he joins NATO, will be influenced by the through sanctions. And this is what has already begun by stopping the training of Turkish pilots on this fighter. In addition to stopping the early delivery of about 100 aircraft of that type, the newspaper said the missile deal was a diplomatic victory for Russian President Vladimir Putin and what it called his campaign to undermine Western cohesion. If the batteries are deployed inside Turkey, this will enable Russia to obtain information about the F-35, which will become the main military aircraft in the alliance. Turkey, like any sovereign country, has the right to make its own choices on defense procurement. But as a member of NATO it has no right to create a gap within NATO security. The principle within NATO is one for all and for one. In addition, Trump should show some respect for this principle instead of focusing on selling U.S. arms. Recently, the United States offered Turkey Patriot missile defense system as an alternative to the S-400. But Moscow provided Ankara with a share in developing the next generation of the system. The article concludes that Erdogan, and because of the Syrian crisis and his war with the Kurds, found himself indebted to his Russian counterpart, while his country was aligned in a fragile alliance with Russia and Iran. If Erdogan wants to turn his back on the Russians in this deal, Putin is likely to step up his war on the last Syrian opposition stronghold in Idlib, where Turkey has dozens of military positions. So the Turkish presence in that region depends on Russian approval. If Erdogan wants to antagonize Washington, he says, his country's membership in NATO will not only be debated, but he should not trust Trump's brilliant promise of sanctions.